little disclaimer before I get into this video. I am in no way a vet or an expert on animals, so if for any of these that I show you, they are not safe, do your own research, okay? Do your own research on any of these before you make them and let them play with it or put it in their cage or whatever, because I'm not going to be responsible for you killing your animal, so do your own research. Be smart. I'm just showing you some cute pet ideas, okay? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back, okay? Today's video is a fun one. It was definitely, it was definitely a fun one to research for, especially as someone with four cats. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to do a video for pets, so here it is. 50 crochet ideas for your pet or pets in my case, okay? Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love on my previous videos and for subscribing to my channel because we have hit so many crazy, like, subscriber milestones in such a short amount of time so i just wanted to say thank you for that okay i love you guys so much and i love reading your comments and i love when you guys tag me in your crochet projects on instagram or send them to me like it's so freaking cool and it just reminds me that like i'm doing this like i'm when i speak into my camera i'm speaking to like thousands of you which is like crazy but awesome so anyways i just want to say thank you with that being said we've got five categories for this video i've actually separated these categories um by type of pet so if you are looking for a specific type of animal you can skip ahead with the chapter markers on the bottom and pick whichever animal or animals that you have, okay? Um, before we get started, I just want to remind you, everything I say will be listed in the description box in the order that I say it, linked to a free or paid written or video pattern, okay? For you, so that you can make whatever I'm showing. The five animal types we have, okay, are cats, rodents. Is rodents mean? Okay, hold on. Cats, hamsters slash rats, hash slash guinea pigs slash rodent, I guess, okay? Reptiles, dogs, and birds. So, let's get into it. Of course, the most are going to be under cats because that's what I have. And I know that's what a lot of you have. So, cats are the overwhelming majority in this video, <laughs> which is fine. Everybody loves cats. And if you don't like cats, that's a red flag. Let's just get right into cats, okay? So, we've got this beautiful, okay? cozy crochet cat bed adorable cute simple we've got this lovey cat hat which is like literally a cat beanie for a cat like the human cat beanies that i make but for a cat okay um or you can just make them some mouse toys which are super cute beware though don't use safety eyes with any toy you're making for a cat don't or dog or whatever don't use safety eyes they're not safe they will take them off the animal or the toy, they will take them off the toy and they will eat them and you will have a huge vet bill. So don't put safety eyes on these toys, okay? Thank you, love you, Mwah. So you can also look at how freaking funny this one is. There are so many funny ones when I was researching for this, but there's a, literally a powdered wig, a powdered wig hat. Y'all are, you guys are so creative, okay? Um, then there's this really cute cat tent if you want to spoil your cat and make a huge freaking thing for them. There's a cat tent. Or you can make a nest, or like a similar thing that's like a nest, but it's a cat shape, cat nest bed, okay? Or you can make this turkey hat, and like, look how, like, annoyed this cat looks. I don't even know if that's a real cat. That's probably not even a real cat. It looks kind of, it doesn't look real. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Take back what I said. Or you can make this taco toy which is super cute keep in mind if you're making cat toys you can put catnip inside the toy that's what i do with my cat toys and my cats go crazy or you can make balls like crocheted balls for them to throw put catnip in them um i don't recommend this one for dogs because dogs tear it up okay they will tear it up and eat the yarn so cats are a little less tear it up you know or you can make this cute like eyeball alien hat for your cat or you can make it a sweater like this naked cat is wearing or why did i say naked i meant hairless hairless cat is wearing this purple sweater or you can make a bed that kind of looks like a rug but if you make it really thick they can lay on it um or you can make this upside down like scuba ice cream hat i thought it was really cute i also love like I love these pictures. I love that their their pets are modeling them for us. Um, or you can make this cat couch if you really love your cat and you have a lot of time and energy. Do it. Uh, you can make these bat wings. 
okay adorable or you can make this watermelon bed which kind of looks like a little kitty pool kitty pool oh my god kitty anyways you can make this like cottage little cottage house for your cat i might make this actually i think it's really cute or you can make a crown which i actually should make this because one of my cat's names is princess so like a princess crown tiara for her you know um or you could make a cute little hat like this pink one or this yellow one or even um this type of bed cute and it looks like it's for dogs and cats but it's in the cats category okay um or you can make this pumpkin hat for your cat or even this other kitty bed which i think is really cute or there's this cat collar there's a couple cat collars here now do I recommend cat collars for use? No. For a cute little picture? Sure. Make a cat collar, put it on. Oh, they're so cute. Take a picture, take it off. Because I don't recommend doing collars unless they're breakaway collars. Because if your cat gets hung somewhere, you want that collar to break off. Okay? So, that's my little two cents on the collar crochet patterns. Okay? Um, or you can make this cute little beanie that looks like a human beanie. But for your cat. So, you can twin with them over winter. That's all we have for cats. Let's move into the rodent category. We only have one, okay? <laughs> because I wasn't even going to include this category until I was researching for it and scrolling and this picture came up and I literally, I cried. I was laughing so hard that someone shoved, here, here's a photo, okay? Someone shoved their pet rat into a crochet outfit. Okay? Like, what the hell? No hate, but like, what? <laughs> why would you do this anyways if you want to do it too there you go um moving on to reptiles uh, okay let's just for the reptile category <laughs> sorry i <laughs> some of the ones in the reptile category this video researching for this video made me so happy seeing all of these animals in like crochet costumes and outfits and like crochet things it is the cutest thing ever and like the funniest thing ever because people are so funny like what makes people think to do this whatever at least they're taking pictures of it but uh so one of the more functional things for our reptile category is this hammock thing uh for like bearded dragons or bearded dragons <laughs> so there you go and another bearded dragon pattern we have is this pineapple hat okay you want to make a pineapple hat for your bearded dragon go for it <laughs> sorry Dude, I can't. Like, I'm literally gonna start crying. Okay, pull it together. Pull it together. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. So, here's another bearded dragon one. A little beanie with a palm. Okay, adorable. Or if you have a leopard gecko, you can make them this <laughs> frog costume. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, here's the, here's the ones that, like, that I lost it. Okay. The snake costume. <laughs> these snakes are literally just they're noodles like they're just literally a noodle like what are you talking about they don't have limbs like they don't have limbs like how are you gonna make costumes for them people find a way okay they find a way that's one thing about society the crochet community okay there's one thing about the crochet community and they will find a way so we have this tigger <laughs> snake <laughs> costume or you can literally it's just a snake sweater look it's just this is just a snake sweater okay here's another snake sweater for you for some inspiration in case the first one didn't give you enough and then this person made a axolotl snake costume okay look at it what the hell <laughs> like that <laughs> gorgeous okay gorgeous i love it i wish i wish animals could speak like i want to know i want to know what's going through their mind when their caretaker is like I made this sweater for you, and it's like a fucking, t oh my god, whatever. It's so funny. Okay, whew, enough of the reptiles. Let's move into dogs, okay? I know some of you are dog people, so let's move in for the for the dog people. Uh, we've got this bucket hat for your dog, or this bucket hat that's a frog bucket hat, okay? Come on, if humans can wear them, why can't your dog? Um, and then we have this little tuxedo dog bandana if your dog has some business to attend to um or you can make this lottie's spotty doggy jumper or you can make a dress for your dog okay 
or you can make this cactus pet house or you can make a granny square dress for your dog like like this it looks like it's a poodle i don't know i don't know dog breeds but here's this granny square look dog dress okay now here is the layout of that in a scale photo of you to see how the granny squares are laid out you can do any granny square but this is kind of your layout that you're wanting for your dog okay just so you're aware here's another um dress dress dog pattern or this mini pet bed it looks like a lemon and a lime okay um or you can make this dog backpack okay what a backpack for your dog come on isn't that cute or this pink hat which i thought was so funny because the dog looks so upset in this photo like oh i love that people were like okay pose for the photo <laughs> like it's a picture we're like yep that'll do it <laughs> like he looks he looks terrified <laughs> but anyways um look at this cute little like collar with a matching headband again not for functional use for photos okay just for photos or this plaid crochet dog bandana or this mushroom crochet um thing it can be for this mushroom crochet home for dogs or cats obviously or guinea pigs i think that's a guinea pig Oh no, I think it's just two dogs. I don't know. Anyways, and then we have the last category, which is birds. Dylan has a bird and I kind of know what goes in a bird's cage. And I know that you can't really have a lot of like yarn things in a bird's cage. But if you want to make like outside bird nests and you don't want to give your parakeet a bird nest, you can make this bird nest for like outdoor birds. And that is all 50 of your pet crochet ideas. Okay, I hope that that satisfied your need for pet patterns because that one was highly requested. I'm doing the highly requested videos first, okay? So if multiple people are requesting them, then that one gets bumped to the top of the list. Other than that though, okay, friendly reminder, everything I said will be linked in the description box below in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make these for your pets, okay? You're welcome, love you. Everything is also in a cohesive Pinterest board. Every photo you saw is on a Pinterest board. If you go through the description box and you're like, I don't like this link, where's the original thing? Go to the Pinterest board, it's there. That's where I found these photos, they're all on Pinterest. If there's a video that you want me to do that I haven't done, whether it be a tutorial or a crochet idea video, comment it down below and I will add it to the never ending list that I am getting through, okay? Never ending list, I'll add it. If you guys have made any of these before and you wanna give your two cents, drop it in the comments drop it in the comments we have a lot of beginner crocheters on this channel and any advice helps so drop it down there if you're not subscribed to my channel why are you not subscribed i post every saturday at noon for you the videos that you guys request so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video okay if you make any of the projects in this video i want to see it so if you're posting it on instagram tag me so i can like it so i can comment okay so i can put it on my instagram story and show everybody okay i want to see it too so also i really want to see your pets in these so if you are making any of these for your pets and posting them on instagram tag me so i can see please 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 tag me here's my instagram other than that i hope you guys have a great weekend i love you guys bye